What is going on, you farmers of Pumpkin Dylan Nation? Welcome back to the video. Today we're sitting in the farming server. This is your weekly farming server update. Um, a lot has changed from last week. Um, we had to recover from a game save loss. Um, if you guys downloaded the bunker extensions, it crashes a dedicated server. That was the first version. Time recording this video, they have a second version out. I haven't tested it out. I do not want to break my game once again. So I was very fortunate to have a very close save. So we've been busting ass. Uh, thank you to Chris and um, go through my list here. So I don't remember how to save his name, but it's Tar. I think it's Jade. So thank you to Jade also, he's been in the Discord server, if you guys want to join the Discord server, I'm in there a lot more now with the actual app on the computer instead of the desktop browser. So I'll be in there uh, normally through the day up until about 3 or 4 p.m. if you catch me in there, or most definitely will be there through most of the night, you know, after 10 p.m. So. And then on weekends, it could be almost all day. It just depends what I do. So, right now we're doing a little compacting. We got two silage pits full. Like, they are full. That first one is really full, but the second one, it's about a couple inches off from the top. Unfortunately, this one is not going to get full. Um, all we have left is basically what the harvester is finishing up. So little bit left um, what the planter messed up on so not much so this was an awesome harvest we got 70,000 bushels of corn from our harvest we have I think we sold some oats already but we probably had eh, almost 10,000 bushels the wheat 34,000 bushels that was from the spring um, that's going to be for seeds only. Um, 13 bucks a bushel is not bad price. We put a bunch of oats in the ground. Canola, we put a bunch of we put a bunch of acres of canola in. That's going to be for our diesel plant. But I'm wanting to put some more in for this price. Sunflowers, we'll probably put a little bit of acreage in. Soybeans, we'll put another. Corn. You know, it has its ups and downs. So. Oop, I don't want to be in his farm. And then Jared also did all this work for me. So, very special thank you to him for organizing the farm. We're going to turn this area into... um where we're going to put the composting, the fertilizer. I'm going to probably move the hay dryer and move this silo. So I'm going to have to rip everything out and hopefully store it without losing it, which actually might be a little challenging because this has a lot of straw in it. This has... How much straw do we end up with? This is in tons, which is 248 tons of straw. That's all of field 108 plus a little bit of 119 so that was a lot of freaking straw too I was really pounding my set pounding my head because it was a lot of freaking straw we have most of the lean shelters let's see we have this lean shelter packed in we got the seed tender we have our planters we sold the red cultivator I don't know if I ever showed it it was just one of the in-game ones find the door trigger and this is like Tetris it is fully packed in here we have these the uh, sunflower header in here we have our plow slash cultivator our sprayer uh, sprinkler systems this is a little trailer we're gonna probably be using our spreader and the little cedar for the strip fields they uh, we do 35 32 and 31 with that cedar just so that we don't really have to use our big cedars 
We can keep the baked cedars for the baked acres, keep the little cedar for the little acres. We have our tree planter because we have the hay dryer, which we're going to be uh, taking out trees um, alongside of field 109. Um, field 99 has a spot with trees on it. We'll be taking that down this winter in the actual game, I guess in real life too, because it'll be winter by the time. We're on day 22, so we are just wrapping up harvest. Unfortunately, I had to kick out two farmers, which is unfortunate. Matt and Hat Gaming, um, you guys know why you got kicked for inactive. Not going to fight about it. Um, you blew off the server since the server started. Um, I know people get discouraged a little bit when a server starts up for the first time. And they not, it may not be fun at first, but you got to give the server some time. You know, it's like the squad. The squad server wasn't popular at first, but now it is. Because he built it, he put the time into it to make it what the server is. So, when you join a server, you kind of just have to give it some time. Don't blow the server off. That's the worst thing you can do. So, this is your little weekly farming server update. If you guys would like a farm... I do have some farms available, so I know we had some people that were interested in the first update. If you guys could get in touch with me, you know who you are. You know, I was really interested in that sheep farm, so if anybody wants to do a sheep farm, they can, you can do whatever you want. You can build a big uh, silage pit like I did. Um, I'm definitely going to be sharing some of this silage. I don't know if I'll be using it all, but I figure go big or go home, so... Might as well. Of course, I have to make fertilizer, and I don't know how much silage I'm going to need for that. I don't know what the ratio is, so that's why I just made a shit ton of silage. Um, probably next season, we're just going to make, depending on how much we use of silage, it'll probably just be a bunch of corn. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Um... I will try to live stream here soon, um, just getting things packed up outside. Uh, we've been very busy this past weekend. It was uh, the first weekend of November, so November 1st, 2nd, 3rd. We took down the Halloween display, packed the shed up, and now it's up to the garage. And then we have to put Christmas stuff up after that. So. This is a really busy time of the year for me. I also have to do leaf cleanups. So I have to race against the clock, plus against the weather to try to get as much leaf leaves up as possible. Bag them and throw them out in the um, alley before it snows. And I guess I, you know, I've been chopping them with a leaf vacuum and then I just throw them out in the yard and spread them out and let them decompose too. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the thousand views on the previous Mod Spotlight. I'm very excited about it. That's where the channel should be at and continue to grow. Um, we're still in it, you know. I do understand a lot of vloggers are moving to Storyfire, but that's what really what Storyfire is set up for. YouTube is not personally coming after me because we don't vlog. So they like the content that I'm making. It's not A plus content, but it's decent content. I haven't had any videos demonetized. If they do get demonetized, I just take them off the channel. It's not worth having. Um, it makes YouTube very upset. Once they get demonetized, they start going after you more. So it's just best to remove the video, remove the evidence, and move on because there's more opportunities to make better videos. So, I will be staying on YouTube. I have no issues with them. They have been very good to me the last four years. And, plus my partnership with Freedom. I I'm, I like Freedom. They're a very nice company. Uh, they help me with every situation. I almost got scammed. And they helped me. So, they're willing to help people out as long as you're willing to be nice to them. So... I know Jesse Richway is going off to story fire, but that's his deal. He wants to create stories. He has to have a platform to create stories. And that's where I keep saying, 
you do something and you make sure you get an reward. It's not always about money, but you got to get paid somehow. If that's in views, nice comments, good ratings, or profit. So, when you do something in life, make sure you get a reward. Make sure you get some form of a payment. Don't just sit there and do it for free. It could be simply as helping the community. That's your payment of making people smile and making sure that they have a good life too. But you had to do it as a volunteer. So, you know, volunteer. Make sure you make a good living out there. Don't struggle. Don't put yourself down. Always strive to do good in your life. Go to college. Get a good job, you know. Get the very best job you can possibly get for your skill set. Everybody's got a skill out there. Make sure you find it. Use it to your fullest. And if you're at a current job and somebody wants to do better, please listen to them. If they've especially been there for a couple of years, it'll make the world of a difference for your job. And with that, we'll see you guys later. Have a great day, and I hope you guys enjoyed the update on the farming server. If you do appreciate these updates, please smash that like button. Every like helps the channel and it helps me decide what videos to record in a pinch or before work. We'll see you guys later. Peace. And don't forget to join the farming server. Be a higher helper. Be a hand on the server. Even though you may not be, the ch be able to get a farm on my server. We will be cycling people out if you're inactive so there are two spots open guaranteed two spots please message me on discord See you guys. I just want to cut back in guys this is the last pass of harvest 2019 um, hope you guys can be for 2020 when we do the harvest on the server uh, please get in contact me on discord we like to hi have hired help you know, an extra hand. I need to buy this little strip of grass. And here's our last pass of 2019. The hired help over on 115 is doing the last pass of the corn harvest, aka silage harvest. Let's get her done, boys. This is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the content from all the server updates. I will definitely try to live stream the next harvest. This entire first season was a trial run it went amazing no hiccups let's see how the winner goes that is our last test and then i'll start to live stream this way more and there we go boys the last crop is out of the ground for the punkadillon farm now we have to take the bean head or known as the soybean head back to the shop we rented it for the year we didn't have enough money when we started but oh shit our totals are going to be unofficial let's look over this we have 30,000 34,000 bushels of wheat 39 bushels of barley might change with this load but not too much oats we have Six thousand, yes, no, yeah, six thousand bushels, a hundred and sixty nine bushels of canola, no sunflowers, twenty five thousand, or no, actually, two thousand bushels of soybeans, and the granddaddy is seventy thousand bushels of corn. No potatoes, no sugar beets, no canola, no sugar cane, no eggs, no wool, no milk, no wood chips. Silage, you already know we're going to have a shit ton of silage. 490 or 459 tons of grass, 2 tons of hay, 48 tons of straw, and no manure and no slurry. But you know that we're going to have a ton of slurry with the silage. So that is our grand total of what we have for crops. I will make a video when we sell all of that 70,000 bushels, which you go into here, and it should be, I don't know if we should sell in the beginning of summer, or the middle of summer, I should say, 
or the beginning of winter. But we'll see what the prices go. There's potential. So with that, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for sticking to the end. If you guys have stuck to the end, you guys can personally chat with me on Discord. Just message me on Discord. See you guys.